Real Retro's best real-life book collection. Read full book to visit realretrosaway.growsite.com. What's in your sanity toolkit mushrooming into greatness? Check out the table of contents. The art of building your sanity toolkit, embarking on the path ahead. Real Rich Rose Affirmation Building Skills, Real Rich Rose Compliment Formula, and also building positive connection with your life partner and dearest. Real Rich Rose Mental Wellness Club. Let's talk about the importance of our sanity toolkit. Follow me if you are interested in non-fiction books and you want to build a healthy self-esteem and emotional intelligence. Go to the comment and follow me if you have not done so. Go to the comments and comment where you live. Anybody who puts a heart next to your comment, you follow them and they will follow you back. Before you know it, we have a bunch of book readers who are interested in building their sanity toolkit using various methods. Don't forget to share the video so we can reach as many persons as possible. Patience while patience is often misunderstood as a passive acceptance of delays or setbacks. However, our true patience is an active and intentional practice. In pursuing a more fulfilling and balanced life, it's essential to recognize the value of patience and calmness. The benefits of cultivating love and cultivating love and empathy is not just an altruistic endeavor. It also yields significant personal and societal benefits. Stronger relationships cultivating love and empathy is at the core of building positive relationship connections. Empathy fosters intimacy and understanding in romantic relationships while it promotes trust and support in friendships and familial relationships. Patience and calm often lead to increased productivity. Individuals who are not rushed or agitated can focus their energy on time. Better relationship patience and calmness are essential for building and maintaining healthy relationships. Enhanced emotional resilience, bracing patience, and calm strengthens emotional resilience. Improve mental health awareness, cultivating love, 
and empathy also contributes to improved mental health awareness. On a broader scale, communities and societies that prioritize and cultivate love and empathy tend to be more compassionate and cohesive. Breath control, deep and deliberate breathing, is an instant antidote to agitation. When you feel your patience was whining, or your calm slipping away, take a moment to focus on your breath. Mindfulness meditation. The practice of mindfulness meditation is a potent method for developing calm and patience. Envision your patience wall as a physical barrier protecting your inner peace. Self-awareness start by developing self-awareness. Recognize situations that challenge your patience and calmness. Practice positive affirmations. Practice positive affirmations that reinforce your patience. Stress reduction patients and calm are your stress reduction tools. When you face demanding situations, whether at work or in your personal life, in conflict resolution relationships, conflicts are inevitable. Patience and calm are your conflict resolution tools, allowing you to approach disagreements with empathy and a level. Problem solving patients and calm become your problem solving tools when confronted with challenges or obstacles. Improve decision-making patience and calm enhance your decision-making skills. They allow you to think clearly and make informed choices in your career or personal life. Emotional resilience. These qualities contribute to emotional resilience, which is essential for returning from setbacks and adversity. who are predisposed by depression will have it come upon them without previous warning and it's not a pretty feeling it's a time when you should be sad I'm glad but you're sad and you have no reason to be sad because sometimes things are working favorably in your life but that how depression is it is a quiet stealer and if you feed it by going into the bed or by entertaining it, it will stay on you for a long time. But why not just grab your skipping rope and go outside and skip and jump and repeat positive thoughts and see what happens. Remember, God is good and he's great and he's greatly to be praised. Love you. See you next time. This morning as I'm about to skip, I pray God's blessings upon your life. I pray his favor. I just find this area on top of the hill. Obviously, it's the guy's hangout area and I'm making the best use of it. The skipping rope is a little knotted, but don't worry. I will pull it out because we need to do a little of this. Did I tell you that I am on vacation? So I'm making the best use of it so that I can be refreshed to go out next week.
Morning. Good morning all. I'm on the top of this hill that I normally walk. The area is called Frederick Peace. I'm in Van Liver. And what a great day it is today. A day to be alive and well. I give God thanks for this day. You know? I give him thanks. I have my skipping rope and I'm about to do a few skips. And I just wanted to ask you, how do you feel about depression? Have you ever had depression just um, come upon you for no apparent reason? Well, guess what? Check me out. Click my bio and check out Real Rich Rose on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. I am praying that the Lord will give you great mental health today. And if you are feeling depressed or lonely for one reason or another, why not play some Psalms, some scriptures? Right? Why not seek out my sample, what's in your sanity toolkit, or the seven secrets of mushrooming into greatness? Why not call somebody? Who you know can send positive vibes to you. Why not be calm and patient and meditate? And I'm sure some of these will help you. Have a great day. Love you. Creating your sanity toolkit with Peace Walk. What's your sanity toolkit? It's a collection of practices and habits that support your mental and emotional well being. With its myriad benefits, the Peace Walk deserves a central place in this toolkit. Stress Reduction He Peace Walk is your stress relief tool. When life overwhelms you, take a walk to release tension and find calm. Nature Immersion, it's your nature connection tool, providing a natural remedy for stress and a way to rejuvenate your spirit. Silence and Reflection, tool offers a space for inner reflection and emotional processing. To physical health, the Peace Walk contributes to your physical health, ensuring you're in good shape to face life's challenges. Sometimes I say that I want you back, but I don't know if I do Sometimes I say about the good days we had, but there were bad days too And I know love is like the faces of So it's gone, it's gone gratitude as you walk consciously cultivate gratitude notice the beauty around you the rustling leaves the singing birds the warmth of the sun and be thankful for these gifts of nature reflect and journal our walk reflect on your experience for a few moments what thoughts and feelings arose during your walk journaling can be a powerful way to capture these insights share your experience encourage others to join you on the peace walk Share your experiences and the benefits you've derived from this practice. The Peace Walk is more than just a stroll. It's a path to inner peace, well-being, and personal transformation. Its simplicity is its strength, offering a range of benefits for the mind, body, and soul. Embracing challenges as opportunities for growth challenges are the threads that add texture and depth to our experiences. Facing illness, injury, or chronic health conditions can be some of the most formidable challenges, testing physical and emotional resilience, friendship challenges. Disagreements, conflicts, or breakdowns in relationships can be emotionally taxing but offer improved communication and understanding of Moving to a new city, starting a new job, or experiencing a major life change can be challenging due to the unknown and the adjustment. It's the nature of challenges, it's essential to understand the diverse forms challenges contend.
Visualize success. Visualization can be a powerful tool for facing challenges. Consider yourself conquering barriers and accomplishing your goals. Stay adaptable and be flexible in your approach to challenges. Sometimes, the growth path may require adjustments or alternative strategies. Inching your body and mind. Healthy juices and nutrition, the foods we consume energize our bodies and have a big impact on our mental and emotional states. Brain function. Nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins are essential for optimal brain function. Mood regulation. Neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, which are essential for controlling mood and emotions, can be affected by certain foods. Practical strategies. Let's go deep into practical strategies to incorporate them into your daily life. Gut-brain connection. The gut-brain axis is a complex network between the gut and the brain. A healthy gut, supported by the right nutrition, can positively influence mental health. Proper nutrition can help the body manage stress more effectively. Stress-relieving foods and drinks can calm the central nervous system and lower the amount of stress hormones produced. Flexes energy levels. Balanced nutrition ensures a steady energy supply, preventing mood swings and fatigue, that can negatively impact mental well-being. Aim for balanced meals that include a variety of nutrients, include lean proteins, whole grains, colorful vegetables, and healthy fats. Practice mindful eating by enjoying every bite and paying consideration to hunger and fullness signs. This can help prevent emotional eating. Search and control. Concentrate on the amount you consume to avoid overeating, which can cause blood sugar variations and mood swings. Meal planning. Plan your meals to ensure access to nutritious foods throughout the day, reducing the temptation to choose unhealthy snacks. Hydration. Drink plenty of water daily to stay hydrated and support cognitive function. <music> Challenges can take life transitions, moving to a new city, starting a new job, or experiencing a major life change can be challenging due to the unknown and the adjustment required. Problem solving aid. Challenges as opportunities for growth enhance your problem-solving abilities. They are your tools for tackling complex issues with confidence and creativity. Relationship challenges, disagreements, conflicts, or breakdowns in relationships can be emotionally taxing but offer improved communication and understanding opportunities. Health challenges, facing illness, injury, or chronic health conditions can be some of the most formidable challenges. Testing physical and emotional resilience. Increased resilience. Challenges build emotional resilience, enabling individuals to bounce back from setbacks and adversity more effectively. Career challenges. Navigating a competitive job market, dealing with job loss, or seeking career advancement can pose significant challenges. Financial challenges. Managing debt, saving for the future and dealing with unexpected expenses can create financial challenges that demand resilience and adaptability. The Benefits of Embracing Challenges Embracing challenges as opportunities for growth offers a multitude of benefits for mental formidable challenges, testing physical and emotional resilience. Resilience Builder Embracing challenges is your resilience building tool. It equips you with the strength to weather life storms and emerge stronger on the other side. Strengthened Relationships Relationship challenges, when overcome, often lead to stronger, more resilient bonds with others. Boosted Self-Confidence Successfully navigating challenges bolsters self-confidence and self-esteem, providing a sense of accomplishment. 
Emotional Intelligence Confronting challenges requires emotional intelligence, as individuals must manage their emotions and navigate interpersonal growing as individual and self-discovery. Reduced anxiety. Facing challenges head-on can reduce anxiety about the unknown and foster a sense of control. Enhanced problem-solving skills. Facing and overcoming challenges fosters improved problem-solving abilities, leading to more confident decision-making. The benefits of embracing challenges. Embracing challenges as opportunities for growth offers a multitude of benefits for mental and emotional well-being. The Nature of Challenges It's essential to understand the diverse forms challenges can take. journey to healing. Life is a complex and often unpredictable journey. Marked by various challenges, traumas, and emotional wounds. While these experiences can be difficult and painful, they also offer growth, transformation, and healing opportunities. In our Sanity Toolkit, one of the most valuable and empowering tools we can possess is the ability to embark on a healing journey. This journey is not just about recovering from past wounds, it's also a path toward greater self-awareness, resilience, and emotional well-being. Now, let's check out the significance of journey to healing. The significance of your healing journey Your journey to healing is a profound and transformative process for several reasons. Emotional liberation. Healing allows you to free yourself from the emotional burdens of the past. It's an opportunity to release pain, anger, resentment, and other negative. Emotions that may have been holding you back. Self-discovery as you navigate your healing journey, you better understand yourself. You uncover hidden strengths, weaknesses, and aspects of your identity that past traumas may have overshadowed. Rustling leaves to chirping birds can lower stress hormones and promote relaxation. A healing walk in nature allows you to escape the pressures of daily life and find respite from stress. Improved mental clarity. The simplicity of nature contrasts with the complexity of our modern world. A walk in nature allows you to clear your mind, focus your thoughts, and gain mental clarity. It is a time to let go of distractions and embrace the present moment. Enhanced creativity. Many creative individuals have drawn inspiration from the natural world. Nature's beauty and tranquility can ignite your imagination and enhance creativity. A healing walk in nature can source fresh ideas and artistic inspiration. Emotional renewal. Nature can evoke many emotions, from awe and wonder to joy and serenity. It offers a safe space to process emotions and find emotional renewal. A healing walk in nature allows you to release pent-up feelings and gain a sense of emotional balance. Baby, I know that it's stronger than yesterday A healing walk, 
Exploring the Healing Power of Nature The healing power of nature is a well-documented phenomenon. A healing walk in nature is an opportunity to reconnect with the natural world. It allows us to step outside the confines of our urban environments, breathe in fresh air, and embrace the sights and sounds of the natural world. Studies have shown that spending time in natural settings can reduce stress, lower anxiety levels, and improve overall well-being. We live in concrete jungles, glued to screens and entangled in the complexities of modern life. Amid this chaos, many of us yearn for a way to heal, find inner peace, and regain our mental well-being. This is where the concept of a healing walk comes in, a journey into the heart of nature that can rejuvenate our souls and bring us back to a state of balance and harmony. Benefits of a Healing Walk in Nature Taking a healing walk in nature offers many benefits that can enhance your mental and emotional well-being, making it a valuable tool within our sanity toolkit. Stress Reduction Nature has an inherent calming effect on the human psyche. The sights and sounds of nature, from feelings, accept them, and let them go without getting attached. Emotional Release Techniques Emotional release techniques such as journaling, expressive arts therapy, or talking with a trusted friend or therapist, provide avenues for processing and releasing pent-up emotions. <laughs> Breathwork. Breathwork involves intentional, rhythmic breathing patterns that can help release emotional and mental tension, promote relaxation, and clear the mind. Yoga and physical activity. Physical activity can serve as a form of inner detoxification by promoting relaxation, reducing stress, and releasing tension held in the body. Detoxification for inner healing is a valuable tool to maintain mental, emotional, and physical well-being in your sanity toolkit. By exploring various cleansing methods, you can remove unnecessary things from your mind, release toxins and negativity, and promote peace, clarity, and overall health. Enhanced Resilience By purging emotional and mental toxins, we strengthen our resilience. We become better equipped to cope with stress, adversity, and difficult emotions, ultimately leading to a greater sense of inner strength. Improved relationships. Inner detoxification can positively impact our relationships. As we release emotional baggage and negative patterns, our interactions with others become more genuine, empathetic, and harmonious greater self-awareness. Detoxification for inner healing often leads to greater self-awareness. As we explore our inner world, we gain insight into our motivations, fears, and desires, fostering personal growth and self-acceptance. Methods of inner detoxification. Some various methods and practices facilitate inner detoxification for healing. Each method serves as a tool within your sanity toolkit, offering unique approaches to cleansing and rejuvenation. Mindfulness Meditation Mindfulness meditation is a practice that involves cultivating present moment awareness without judgment. It enables us to be aware of our ideas. Detoxification for inner healing is a practice rooted in the belief that our bodies and minds accumulate physical toxins and emotional and mental clutter over time. 
This accumulation can lead to various issues, including stress, anxiety, fatigue, and even physical ailments. Detoxification serves several crucial purposes. Mental clarity. Removing mental clutter and negative thought patterns through detoxification can enhance mental clarity, focus, and creativity. Physical health. Detoxification methods can help the body eliminate toxins and waste products, improving organ function and overall health. Emotional well-being. Cleansing methods can aid in releasing pent-up emotions, promoting emotional healing, and reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. Stress reduction. Detoxification practices often include relaxation techniques that reduce stress and promote a sense of calm and well-being. Increased energy. Detoxification can boost energy levels and vitality by eliminating physical and Hanes not a solitary endeavor. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or professionals who can provide emotional support, guidance, and validation in your way to shield yourself from additional harm. Learn to set reasonable boundaries. Boundaries are essential for maintaining your well being and preventing re traumatization. Acknowledge and celebrate each step forward in your healing journey. Every small victory is a testament to your resilience and strength. Your healing journey is a courageous and transformative process that can lead to greater emotional well-being, resilience, and self-awareness. It's valuable in your sanity toolkit, equipping you to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. Remember that healing is not about erasing the past, but embracing it as a part of your story. By taking the first step toward healing and seeking the support you need, you can embark on a profound journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and emotional liberation. Resilience Building Healing is not about erasing the scars, but learning to wear them with strength and grace. It builds resilience, allowing you to bounce back from setbacks and challenges with greater fortitude. Detoxification for Inner Healing Exploring cleansing methods just as we cleanse our physical bodies through detoxification methods rid them of impurities, our inner selves can benefit from a similar process. Detoxification for inner healing is a profound concept. Improved Relationships a healing journey often involves working on past relationship wounds and developing healthier ways of relating to others. It can lead to stronger, more authentic connections. Mental and Emotional Well-Being Healing contributes to improved mental and emotional well-being. It can lessen the signs of anxiety and sadness, raise general life satisfaction, and foster inner tranquility. Empowerment Taking charge of your healing journey empowers you to shape your narrative. You become the author of your story rather than a passive character. The first step in your healing journey is self-awareness. Reflect on your experiences, emotions, and patterns of behavior. Understand how past wounds have influenced your thoughts and actions. Acknowledge and accept the pain and emotions associated with your past experiences. More confident and approachable boosting your self-esteem and self-perception. Increased positivity. Smiling can shift your perspective toward a more positive outlook. It encourages you to focus on the brighter side of situations. Better relationships. Smiling is contagious and helps build rapport with others. It can resolve conflicts, strengthen connections, and improve overall communication.
world that often feels like a whirlwind, there's one tool that's always at your disposal, always ready to bring balance and sanity. It's a smile. Yes, that's right, a, a bridge that connects hearts, a silent message of goodwill. Did you know that smiling can trigger a feel-good party in your brain? It's true, it boosts your mood, reduces stress and even strengthens your immune system, not to mention it's contagious. Your smile can light up someone else's world, fostering positivity and strong bonds. So in the hustle and bustle of life, in the quest of achieving goals, don't forget to smile. It's your secret weapon, your sanity toolkit. Un Remember to appreciate the power of a beautiful smile in your quest for balance and sanity in an often chaotic world. It's a simple yet potent tool in your sanity toolkit that can improve mental and emotional well-being, reduce stress, and foster positive relationships. Embrace joy through smiling, and share the warmth and positivity with those around you. Remember, a smile is not just a reflection of happiness, it's also a source of happiness. So, let your smile guide your journey to a more joyful and fulfilling life. Smile when you wake up, when you look in the mirror, or when you're enjoying a cup of coffee. Practice smiling even when you don't feel like it, as the act can uplift your mood. Greet friends, family, and strangers with warmth and sincerity, whether big or small, celebrate. Your achievements with a smile, acknowledge your successes, and savor the moments of joy they bring. Ever wonder why some flowers never bloom? Could it be the absence of sunlight or the lack of proper nourishment? Or perhaps it's simply because they never sought the support of the trellis. Much like these flowers, humans too sometimes need a little support, a little healing, to truly bloom. Firstly, seeking support and healing opens the door to better mental health. It's like a breath of fresh air in a room that's been closed off for too long. It can help manage stress, reduce anxiety and depression, and improve one's overall emotional well-being. Secondly, it fosters resilience. The journey through healing is not an easy one. It's a road filled with bumps and bends, but it's on this road that resilience is born. It's where one learns to adapt, to bounce back, to rise and lead to personal growth. The healing process is often underestimated, but it sets off a profound transformation, a metamorphosis. This metamorphosis is not just about healing, about changing, evolving, becoming something more. It's about understanding oneself, delving deep into the soul to uncover strengths and potential that may have been hidden. This exploration gives individuals a chance to discover facets of themselves they'd never known. It can lead to a more authentic and fulfilling life. Fourthly, it improves But sometimes, our wounds can create barriers, preventing us from forming deep, meaningful connections. Seeking healing can help break down these barriers, paving the way for healthier, more satisfying relationships. Lastly, it can lead to a happier, more balanced life. Imagine living life not as a battle to be fought, but as a dance to be danced, a song to be sung. That's the power of seeking support and healing. So, if you're feeling like a flower wilting in the shadows, remember, it's okay to seek the support of the It's not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength, your courage, your determination to live a healthier, more balanced life. Remember, every flower that ever bloomed had to go through a whole lot of dirt to get there. So don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty, to seek support, to seek healing. Because on the other side of this journey is a life more beautiful, more vibrant, more fulfilling than you could ever imagine. A life where you're not just surviving, but truly thriving. So go ahead, seek that support, seek that healing, and watch yourself bloom into the beautiful flower you were all. Stress reduction. Smiling in stressful situations can help reduce the perception of stress and increase one's ability to cope with challenges. Whether big or small, celebrate your achievements with a smile, acknowledge your successes, and savor the moments of joy they bring. The mental and emotional benefits of smiling, the act of smiling goes beyond mere facial expression, it has profound mental and emotional benefits. Cultivate a sense of gratitude for the beauty in life, and let your smile reflect that appreciation. Embrace joy through smiling, and share the warmth and positivity with those around you. Remember, a smile is not just a reflection of happiness, it's also a source of happiness. So, let your smile guide your journey to a more joyful and fulfilling life. Smile when you wake up, when you look in the mirror, or when you're enjoying a cup of coffee. Practice smiling even when you don't feel like it, as the act can uplift your mood. Enhanced Resilience
Smiling fosters emotional resilience, allowing individuals to bounce back from adversity more effectively, improved self-esteem. Smiling makes you appear duration of sleep, but avoid strenuous activities right before bed. Watch your diet. Be mindful of what you eat in the evening. Heavy meals and spicy foods can cause discomfort and disrupt sleep. This night is cold in the kingdom I can feel you fade away From the kitchen to the bathroom sinking Your steps keep me awake Don't cut me down, throw me out Leave me here to waste I once was a man with dignity and grace Now I'm slipping through the cracks of your cold embrace So oh, please, please Could you find a way to let me down slowly? A little sympathy, I hope you can show me If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely If you're leaving, baby, let me down slowly Let me down, down, let me down, down Let me down, let me down, down Let me down, down, let me down If you wanna go Rycross Mental Wellness Club. Let's talk about the importance of our sanity toolkit. Follow me if you are interested in nonfiction books and you want to build a healthy self esteem and emotional intelligence. Go to the comment and follow me if you have not done so. Go to the comments and comment where you live. Anybody who puts a heart next to your comment, you follow them and they will follow you back. Before you all know it, we job a bunch of book readers who are interested in building their sanity toolkit using various methods. Don't forget to share the video so we can reach as many persons as possible. Limit screen time. The blue light emitted by screens interferes with producing the sleep hormone melatonin. Consider using blue light filters or avoiding screens for at least an hour before bedtime. Improved self-esteem. Smiling makes you appear duration of sleep but avoid strenuous activities right before bed. Watch your diet. Be mindful of what you eat in the evening. Heavy meals and spicy foods can cause discomfort and disrupt sleep. Manage stress. Before going to bed, try stress reduction exercises like yoga, deep breathing, or mindfulness. Real Rycross Mental Wellness Club. Let's talk about the importance of our sanity toolkit. Follow me if you are interested in non-fiction books and you want to build a healthy self-esteem and emotional intelligence. Go to the comment and follow me if you have not done so. 
go to the comments and comment where you live. Anybody who puts a heart next to your comment, you follow them and they will follow you back. Before you all know it, we Jave a bunch of book readers who are interested in building their sanity toolkit using various methods. Don't forget to share the video so we can reach as many persons as possible. Avoid naps. Avoid long or late afternoon naps if you have trouble sleeping at night. Seek professional help. If you consistently struggle with sleep, despite trying various strategies, consider consulting a healthcare professional or sleep specialist to rule out underlying sleep disorders like insomnia or sleep apnea, embracing joy, the power of a beautiful smile. A genuine smile can remarkably transform not only our well-being but the world around us. A smile is one of the few expressions transcending language, culture, and age. Prioritizing sleep in your sanity toolkit. It's essential to prioritize it as an integral part of your sanity toolkit. Here are practical strategies for ensuring you get the rest you need. Establish a consistent sleep schedule. Every day, including weekends, go to bed and wake up simultaneously. Consistency helps regulate your body's internal clock. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Engage in calming activities before sleep, such as reading, meditating, or taking a warm bath. Avoid stimulating activities like watching intense TV shows or using electronic devices with bright screens. Optimize your sleep environment. By keeping your bedroom at a suitable temperature, keeping noise and light out, and making an investment in a comfy mattress and pillows, you can make sure it is a conducive sleeping environment. Avoid caffeine and alcohol before going to bed because they can interfere with sleep cycles. The vital role of rest, prioritizing sleep. In our relentless pursuit of productivity and success, we often overlook one of the most critical components of our sanity toolkit. Sleep is often sacrificed in this fast-paced world where time is precious. However, it's essential to recognize that sleep is not a luxury but a fundamental necessity for our physical and mental well-being. In our society, lack of sleep has epidemic proportions. The consequences of inadequate sleep extend far beyond drowsiness and irritability. They encompass various mental health challenges, including anxiety, depression, mood swings, and cognitive impairment. Real Rich Rose Best Real Life Book Collection Read full book to visit What's in your sanity toolkit mashrooming into greatness Check out the table of contents The art of building your sanity toolkit Embarking on the path ahead Real Rich Rose Affirmation Building Skills Real Rich Rose Compliment Formula And also building positive connection with your life partner and dearest Go to the comments and comment where you live Anybody who puts a heart next to your comment You follow them and they will follow you back before you know it we have a bunch of book readers who are interested in building their sanity toolkit using various methods. Don't forget to share the video so we can reach as many persons as possible. Sleep is not a monolithic state, it includes various stages that cycle throughout the night. Understanding the sleep cycle is crucial to grasp the importance of restorative sleep, non-REM sleep. This phase consists of three stages and is characterized by slow, synchronized brain, waves. Non-REM sleep is crucial for physical restoration, including tissue repair, muscle growth, and immune system function. It also contributes to our memory consolidation. REM sleep. Rapid eye movement, REM, sleep is associated with vivid dreaming and heightened brain activity. It is essential for learning, emotional control, and cognitive function during REM sleep. Amygdala. Your amygdala is a small part of your brain, but it has a big job. It's a major processing center for emotions. It also links your emotions to many other brain abilities, especially memories, learning and your senses. When it doesn't work as it should, it can cause or contribute to disruptive feelings and symptoms. What is the amygdala? Your amygdala is a small, almond-shaped structure inside of your brain. It's part of a larger network in your brain called the limbic system. When it comes to your survival, your amygdala and limbic system are extremely important. These are parts of your brain that automatically detect danger. 
They also play a role in behavior, emotional control, and learning. Function, what does the amygdala do? Fear is the main emotion that the amygdala is known to control. That's why your amygdala is so important to survival. It processes things you see or hear and uses that input to learn what's dangerous. If you encounter something similar in the future, your amygdala will cause you to feel fear or similar emotion. Where is the amygdala located? Your amygdala is part of your temporal lobe. It's a paired structure, meaning you have two of them, one on each side of your brain, experts refer to both using the singular form of the word. Your amygdala sits near several structures that carry information from your senses, especially smell, which is why sense can connect strongly to emotions and memories. Your amygdala also connects to brain areas that process vision and hearing. What does the amygdala look like? The amygdala gets its name from its shape. Amygdala comes from the Greek word for almond. Most brain tissue is pinkish beige when there's blood circulating through it, it looks gray without blood circulating. The amygdala is slightly darker in color than the surrounding brain tissue. Rio Rikros Mental Health Research The 40 Positive Affirmations to Add to Your Daily Rotation, some of them I will discuss here in this video. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. There's value in patting yourself and your friends on the back. Positive affirmations are short statements that can help brighten your outlook on the world. While affirmations are no substitute for professional help, such as therapy, when you're experiencing anxiety or depression, those who swear by the power of uplifting language do find that daily affirmations increase their self-esteem and improves their mental wellness overall. What's more, positive affirmations may help boost your overall health, too. Studies support the idea that the words we choose matter, and while you can certainly dream up your own uniquely inspiring phrases to say every day, our list of hopeful quotes include, I am in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, late self-help author and positive affirmations. Real Rikros Monday Morning Formula, Go forth in the strength of the Lord, go forth and walk in God's favor, go forth and conquer the world, go forth and touch some lives, go forth and give some love, go forth in the name of the Lord, I'm Real Rikros, our resourceful, endearing, altruistic, elovable, our resilient, I, intuitive, Sierra, a chappy, our relentless, optimistic, a social, elegant. Reduced isolation. Loneliness and isolation can exacerbate mental health issues. Seeking support, whether through therapy or support groups, reduces these feelings of isolation by providing a sense of community and understanding. Faster recovery. In cases of addiction or trauma, seeking professional help can expedite recovery. Therapists and support networks can guide individuals through the steps needed for healing. Breaking stigma. By openly seeking support and healing, individuals contribute to the broader effort to break the stigma surrounding mental health issues. This, in turn, encourages others to seek help without fear of judgment. Long-term well-being. The benefits of seeking support and healing extend beyond the immediate alleviation of symptoms. They lay the foundation for long-term well-being and personal growth. Seeking support can also be a preventive measure, helping individuals address issues before they escalate into more severe mental health problems. Incorporating these benefits into your sanity toolkit improves your mental and emotional well-being and equips you with the resilience and strength to face life's challenges head-on. Balance their lives. One of the most crucial components of this toolkit is the ability to seek support and healing as it provides us with the means to navigate life's ups and downs with resilience and strength. It's essential to understand why these aspects are so crucial. Life is rife with challenges, from personal crises like grief and trauma, to everyday stressors such as work pressures and relationship issues. The cumulative weight of these challenges can take a severe toll on our mental and emotional health if left unaddressed. Coping with stress. Stress is inevitable, but excessive and prolonged stress can lead to mental health. Problems like anxiety and depression. Seeking. Support and healing provides us with tools to manage stress effectively, reducing its adverse effects on our health. 
Don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind. Be led by the dreams in your heart. Positive affirmation quotes, attitude is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Kindness is a choice. Respect is a choice. Whatever choice you make makes you. Choose wisely. Instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create. Be the reason someone smiles. Be the reason someone feels loved and believes in the goodness in people. Accept yourself, love yourself, and keep moving forward. If you want to fly, you have to give up what weighs you down. Be mindful. Be grateful. Be positive. Be true. Be kind. It's almost time everyone. Ria Rikros UA has been spending her time on the various platforms including Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and YouTube. Please check them out. She is getting ready to share her mushrooming into greatness formula and tips in her sanity toolkit. Get ready for her live on TikTok, check out her videos on YouTube, like follow, subscribe and share. Rial Rikros is getting ready to share her personal success stories, coming soon live on TikTok, get ready. Dealing with trauma. Traumatic events, whether recent or in the past, can leave lasting emotional scars. Seeking support and healing can help. Individuals process trauma, heal emotional wounds, and regain control over their lives. Maintaining mental health. Just as we prioritize physical health through exercise and a balanced diet, we must also prioritize mental health seeking support when we encounter challenges or experience. Symptoms of mental health issues is vital. Negative thoughts are not fixed, they are mental patterns that can be reshaped and replaced with more positive and constructive thinking. Incorporate this powerful tool into your sanity toolkit, and you'll find that it improves your mental well-being and empowers you to go out and change the world. Checking your emotional temperature. The importance of self-awareness. Everyone from every profession can benefit from the sanity toolkit at some time. It's of great importance that we do a mental and emotional temperature check. This took prominence during the peak of COVID-19. Every non-establishment was insistent on a temperature check to gain entrance. We need to follow suit. When have you last taken time to gauge your mental, emotional, physical, and psychological temperature? Self-awareness. Practice self-awareness by regularly examining your thought patterns. Noticing when negative thoughts arise and take note of their recurring themes. Challenging negative thoughts. When negative thoughts arise, challenge them using the techniques mentioned earlier. Examine the evidence, consider, alternatives, and seek outside perspectives. Reframing. Practice reframing negative thoughts to create a more positive or balanced perspective. This can be particularly helpful when negative thinking is a habitual response. Come and support LRM on April 6, 2024. Register online, save your seat, come and interact with Jamaican authors, this is for a worthy cause, come dress in red, gold and white. This is paramount to this sanity toolkit. Where do you fall on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you stressed, moody, angry, tired, anxious, paranoid, clingy, or sleepy? How is your emotional intelligence? 
Are you a leader, educator, doctor, caregiver, parent, or student, and the loss continuing for you to include yourself? Where do you fall on the temperature gauge? Come on, dig deep in the sanity toolkit, and be renewed. Mindfulness, incorporate mindfulness into your daily, routine. Utilizing mindfulness practices will help you stay in the moment and stop dwelling on negative thoughts. Seek support. Don't hesitate to seek support from a therapist or counselor if negative thoughts are overwhelming or persistent. Professional guidance can be immensely beneficial. Hey, hey, hey! Love and Restoration Ministries is at it again. We are at the peak of our charity. Can you believe it? We are now 10 years old and we are going to be celebrating in style. We're having a red carpet affair. Oh yes, you will be able to come and take your photos with a lovely background. You will be able to laugh and get your book signed. You will be able to garner knowledge about your mental health and to top it all off, entertainment galore, laughter, singing, and giving thanks to God, not to mention participating in our cake eating and sharing. Come on, out April 6, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. We have reduced the contribution to only $1,500. Um, start sorting out your red, gold, and white. It's going to be a love affair. See you there. Are you feeling weighed down by negative thoughts? It's time to make a change and embark on a journey towards self-improvement. But remember, be kind and gentle with yourself along the way. Just as you would offer compassion to a friend, you should practice self-compassion towards yourself while working on restructuring those negative thoughts. Sometimes seeking an outside perspective can now be incredibly helpful. Talk to someone you trust, whether it be a close friend or a therapist, they can provide you with a fresh point of view and help you reframe your thoughts. Their objective outlook may give you the clarity you need to navigate through these negative feelings. Remember that negative thoughts often thrive in an environment of self-criticism. Instead, create an environment of self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, just as you would treat a dear friend. This nurturing environment will help you to restructure those negative thoughts and embark on a path towards positivity and growth. So take that first step towards self-improvement and practice self-compassion. This journey is about transforming your thoughts and finding inner peace. You deserve it. Are you feeling weighed down by negative thoughts? It's time to make a change and embark on a journey towards self-improvement. But remember, be kind and gentle with yourself along the way. Just as you would offer compassion to a friend, you should practice self-compassion towards yourself while working on restructuring those negative thoughts. Sometimes seeking an outside perspective can now be incredibly helpful. Talk to someone you trust, whether it be a close friend or a therapist, they can provide you with a fresh point of view and help 
you reframe your thoughts. Their objective outlook may give you the clarity you need to navigate through these negative feelings. Remember that negative thoughts often thrive in an environment of self-criticism. Instead, create an environment of self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding just as you would treat a dear friend. This nurturing environment will help you to restructure those negative thoughts and embark on a path towards positivity and growth. So take that first step towards self-improvement and practice self-compassion. This journey is about transforming your thoughts and finding inner peace. You deserve it. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming when negative thoughts start to weigh us down, but there is a way to seek outside perspective and find a glimmer of hope. Like a friend or therapist about these negative thoughts, they can offer a fresh viewpoint and help you reframe your thoughts into something. Additionally, it's vital to practice self-compassion, treat yourself with kindness, and understand your friend. Negative thoughts thrive in an environment of self-criticism, so it's important to be gentle with yourself. Remember that you are only human, and we all make mistakes sometimes. Embrace the idea of self-compassion and create a space within yourself that nurtures growth by seeking the outside perspective and practicing self-compassion. You can gradually loosen the grip of negative thoughts and create a healthier mindset, start talking to someone, and begin your journey towards a more positive and fulfilling life. Stress reduction, restructuring negative thoughts reduces the body's stress response, promoting a sense of calm and relaxation. Improved self-esteem as you replace self-criticism with self-compassion, your self-esteem and self-worth increase. Positive emotions restructuring negative thoughts fosters positive emotions such as happiness, contentment, and gratitude. Healthy relationships, improved communication and reduced misunderstandings enhance relationships. Examine evidence, ask yourself whether any concrete evidence supports your negative thought. Often, negative thoughts are based on assumptions rather than facts. Reality check, compare your negative thoughts to reality. Is your perception aligned with what is happening? Consider alternatives, explore alternative explanations or interpretations of the situation. Is there a more positive or balanced perspective? Question assumptions, challenge assumption or beliefs that underlie your negative thoughts. Are these assumptions valid or based on past experiences or unfounded fears? Embrace challenges, start seeking out challenges and stepping out of your comfort zone. Embrace the idea that failure is an opportunity to learn and grow. Value effort, cultivate an appreciation for effort and perseverance. Recognize that effort is a critical component of skill development and achievement. Learn from setbacks, when setbacks occur, view them as opportunities to learn and improve. Analyze what went wrong and how you can adjust your approach. Seek feedback. Be open to feedback from others and view it as a valuable source of information for growth. Change your self-talk, pay attention to your inner dialogue and replace negative self-talk with more, growth-oriented language. Set goals, establish goals that align with your desire, for personal growth. Break these goals into, manageable steps and track your progress. Celebrate your achievements and progress along the way. It's important to acknowledge your efforts and the improvements you've made. Take a moment to appreciate how far you've come, whether big or small. Every step forward is worth celebrating. 
embrace the growth you've experienced and feel proud of what you've accomplished. Remember, progress is not always linear, but every effort you put in counts. So take a deep breath, pat yourself on the back, and celebrate the milestones you've reached. Celebrate your progress and keep striving for more. Love and Restoration Ministries is at it again. We are at the peak of charity. Can you believe it? We are now 10 years old and so we are going to be celebrating in style. We are having a red carpet affair. Oh, yes, you will be able to come and take your photos at a lovely background. You will be able to meet your own Jamaican authors who are in the counseling field. You will be able to purchase your books and HET them signed on spot. You will be able to gain insightful information about taking care of your mental health. And to top it all off, entertainment galore with laughter, singing, praising and giving thanks to God. Not to mention sharing in our birthday cake feast. Come on, come out, Saturday, April 6, 2024, at 6.30 p.m. We have reduced the contribution to only $1,500. Start sorting out your red, gold and white. It is going to be a love affair. See you there. Cultivate patience, recognize that mindset transformation is an ongoing process. Be patient with yourself and allow for gradual change. Celebrate progress, celebrate your achievements and progress along the way. Acknowledge your efforts and the improvements you've made. Set goals, establish goals that align with your desire for personal growth. Break these goals into manageable steps and track your progress. Change your self-talk, pay attention to your inner dialogue and replace negative self-talk with more growth-oriented language. Practice self-compassion. You ought to be kind and understanding to yourself as you would act to a friend. Negative thoughts often thrive in an environment of self-criticism. Seek outside perspective. Talk to a trusted friend or therapist about your negative thoughts. They can help you reframe your thoughts and provide an objective point of view. Practice self-compassion. Be kind and gentle with yourself as you work on restructuring negative thoughts. Remember that this is a journey toward. Seek feedback, be open to feedback from others and view it as a valuable source of information for growth. This is paramount to this sanity toolkit. Where do you fall on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you stressed, moody, angry, tired, anxious, paranoid, clingy, or sleepy? How is your emotional intelligence? Are you a leader, educator, doctor, caregiver, parent, or student, and the loss continuing for you to include yourself? Where do you fall on the temperature gauge? Come on, dig deep in the sanity toolkit, and be renewed. Mindfulness, incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. Utilizing mindfulness practices will help you stay in the moment and stop dwelling on negative thoughts. Value effort, cultivate an appreciation for effort and perseverance. Recognize that effort is a critical component of skill development and achievement. Learn from setbacks. When setbacks occur, view them as opportunities to learn and improve. Analyze what went wrong and how you can adjust your approach. Seek support. Don't hesitate to seek support from a therapist or counselor if negative thoughts are overwhelming or persistent. Professional guidance can be immensely beneficial. Benefits of restructuring negative thoughts Embracing the practice of restructuring negative thoughts offers several mental and emotional benefits. Mindfulness Incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. Utilizing mindfulness practices will help you stay in the moment and stop dwelling on negative thoughts. Challenging negative thoughts When negative thoughts arise, challenge them using the techniques mentioned earlier. Examine the evidence, consider alternatives, and seek outside perspectives. Self-awareness Practice self-awareness by regularly examining your thought pattern, noticing when negative thoughts arise and take note of their recurring themes. 
Reframing practice reframing negative thoughts to create a more positive or balanced perspective. This can be particularly helpful when negative thinking is a habitual response. It's easy to lose touch with ourselves. Nature provides a space for self-reflection and introspection. A healing walk in nature invites you to reconnect with your inner self, values, and priorities. Why your sanity toolkit needs a healing walk, you might wonder why a healing walk is essential to your sanity toolkit. The answer lies in the profound impact it can have on your overall mental well-being. By immersing yourself in nature regularly, you recharge and rejuvenate, nature serves as a reset button for your mind. It allows you to recharge your mental and emotional batteries, leaving you feeling refreshed and revitalized. Find inner peace, the tranquility of nature provides a sanctuary where you can find inner peace and solace. It's a place where you can escape the noise and chaos of daily life. Enhance resilience, regular exposure to nature can enhance your resilience to stress. You'll develop a greater capacity to cope with life's challenges and setbacks. Boost creativity, nature sparks creativity and inspiration. It's a wellspring of ideas and insights that can fuel your creative endeavors. Foster connection, as you connect with nature, you'll also deepen your connection with yourself and others. It's a shared experience that can strengthen relationships and build a sense of belonging. Contribute to a healthier planet, by nurturing your relationship with nature, you become a steward of the environment. Your actions can contribute to a healthier planet for future generations.